everybody. It's Kelly and Jim here talking with Heather Wilson, a fellow X-File. We're excited to see her collection today. Hello, Heather. How are you? Good. How are you? We're good. We're it's doing so good. to talk to you. So do you want to start by introducing yourself? Maybe telling everyone a little about yourself? Sure. Um, I live in the United States. I live in Oregon, and I have been collecting X-Files since about 2008 when the second movie came out. I fell in love with it and it was all downhill from there or uphill. Uphill, yeah. For yeah. us it's uphill. Yeah. yeah. All right. So when did you first discover the X-Files? I was born in 88. So I was a little kid when the show came out. I vaguely remember my dad watching it when I was a kid. But in 2008, when that's when our Hollywood video was closing down. So I went in there to get this uh, documentary called Grizzly Man. It's great. I don't know if you've ever seen it. And I saw X-Files. I wanted to leave just on a whim there for 50% off. So I bought it, watched it probably about 20 times, <laughs> fell in love, had to get, that's when I started over and just watched all the series. So I got kind of a late start on it compared to everybody else. That's okay. We need people to keep having late starts, you know? Yeah. That's how we keep the fandom going. It's true. Yep. What was the um what was the first episode you saw? I remember my earliest memory of it was the scene when Scully was laying in a hospital bed and Doggett found out she was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and told her you're okay and your baby's okay so i was probably about i don't know what 11. <laughs> all right here's a here's a good question here's a question what made you decide that i want to start collecting x-file merchandise it started out small i just wanted to collect the action figures you know, like I would see something and I would think, oh, that's really neat. I'm going to get that. And then I would get them. And then I think, oh, I want to get the cards. Yeah. I'm going to get all the cards. And then yeah. I move on to comic books. And then next thing you know, I have everything. So I'm just buying it, whatever I don't have at this point. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. You know, but that's, that, it, it, that's how, that's how it happens. You know, you just buy, you know, one or two things and, you know, and it's like, it you got, got you. You it, gotta finish the set and then there's something else. Yes, exactly. There's nothing I hate more than not having a full set of something. It drives me crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been collecting? Um, well, I would say probably 2008, 2009. I mean, I guess I was introduced officially to the X Files in 2008. I probably started collecting in 2009. Right. So do you have a favorite piece? I always like to ask that question. I, yeah, that's, that's a it's my revenge idea. question because people <laughs> yeah. ask us that. <laughs> I, have a, I have a few favorites, but I would say my number one is probably my um, collector card game, Gen Con deck. Yep. All right, awesome. Uh, it, it, for X-File collectibles, what are you on the hunt for? Like your grail, holy grail piece. What I'm on the hunt for right now is actually, um, they're called pin pals. Uh, I don't know if you have the right in the little box. There's like, a, I have them hanging on the wall. There's an I want to believe poster, an alien, a Mulder, Scully, and a Langley. I don't have the Langley. I think it's limited to 100. Ah, that's going to be a fun hunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it gets to be, you know, like for me and myself, it gets to, it's it's the hunt looking for it. You know, that's that's what I like the most. Yeah. And then when you, that feeling you get when you finally find the thing you've been Exactly. You know, it's the the sense of relief. <laughs> you know. Yes, I had that happen with um one of the comic books. It was the Funko Incentive cover. Yep. Uh, and with the Bigfoot on it, I searched for that for like two or three years, could not find it. Finally popped up online for 20 bucks. I was so excited. Wow, that's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see something you probably like in, in the background. Yeah, yeah. I see I see my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Other <laughs> side. No, no. Other what side. Missed what is a chuckle it? teeth mask right there. Oh, right here? Yeah, yeah the custom oh. Mr. Chuckle Teeth mask. Let's share. All right. 
See, that's something we would like to find. Yeah, that's that is fantastic. Oh. <laughs> I so, love it. Give us a tour of you know your Show your you well organized collection. Yeah, I wish I had more space for it. Um, let me uh, get up here. <laughs> I don't have a table in here, so it's just sitting on the floor. Uh, all right. Um, hey, you know, okay. you got to up the room to the collectibles. So I have um, a bunch of things just hanging on the wall. Um, I don't know how well you can see. Probably not. not well, no, but those are what I was talking about. I'm missing yeah. right? Um, right? Just keychains, action figures. Back behind here, um, I guess you can't really see that very well. It's the, um, like, movie Mylars. Is that what yeah. it's called? The Mylars, yep. Awesome. I guess they have like light up boxes for those, and that seems yeah. really neat to have, but they're kind of spendy, so I don't have that yet. Um, alien fetus, that's also a favorite of mine in the jar. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was a season six promo item. Um, and then uh, down here, this is where I have all of my uh, comic books. So all six of these are full of all X-Files comics and Millennium too, because Millennium is my second favorite. <laughs> I like the machine. Um, the six scales. Got to have all the six scales. Sorry, or, uh, yeah. Um, and then uh, down here I have two boxes of, uh, I don't know if you guys have it, these. They're the uh, Phillips. Oh, yep. Yeah. For different episodes. And, um, Got some bobbleheads and snow uh, globes and a plaque and all sorts of uh, goodies. Artwork, yeah. yeah. I haven't uh, shared it all with people yet. Here's another uh, bust that I like. It was uh, Fluke Man. Yeah. Good old Flukey. Yeah. <laughs> and um, all my binders with all my cards. Uh, they're all full set. Nice. And, um, have like the the promo boxes, you know, that came with uh, season uh, season ten. Season ten. Then on all on the wall here, you know, uh, back in the behind everything is where I have the uh, fight the future. You know, all those action figures. They made a ton of them. And my bedroom which i'm going to move to is where i have the majority of my posters i tried oh. to <laughs> hang them up oh nice so see that's that's cool that's all really sorts cool. of uh <laughs> x files posters everywhere right <laughs> yeah. pretty soon you'll have to have them up on the ceiling like we have to yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. There's more room now. Yeah, I know I'm out of space on uh, all my walls. Have the uh, chrome art, you know. Um, yeah, very nice. Very nice. I imagine you guys have those chrome art pieces. Somewhere. <laughs> exactly. So uh, that's about it that I have out. I have some things like... Um, I, I don't know, just miscellaneous things that I have like in a closet downstairs because I don't have, I'm limited. The other half of the room here is uh, my husband's Star Wars. <laughs> so uh, I give him I, a little space. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a tiny amount of space. <laughs> yeah, I only get this half the room for my X-Files. <laughs> yeah, that was another one of my questions. W what does your family think of all this? Oh, well, my dad appreciates it because he likes the exiles. I think my mom's a little iffy about it. I have a... Oh, the hats. Oh, the, the hats. Hats there, too. I forgot to show you. But, yeah, my, I think my dad, um, they live about three hours away, so uh, they're not over here very often. But, you know, my dad, he's, he's walked through and taken a good look at things. You know, my mom will just kind of glaze over. Oh, very nice. So my dad, he has some interest in this. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. It's that's good to have that in common. Yeah, so. it is. You know, I mean, you see, uh, what is your, what's your husband think? 
He is shockingly supportive. I am so lucky. He's very laid back and just whatever makes you happy. So I'm lucky. I don't think there's very many people that would tolerate this. Plus he has, he has his collection. <laughs> he needs to catch up. Then, then they'll fight over space. Yeah. So it's you know? good that I let her do her thing. And you know, I got to give you credit. Everything is just so well organized and, you know, I mean, it well looks displayed. well yep. displayed. Thank you. Thank you. This is you my, uh, my pride and joy. This is my, my happy place. Yeah. <laughs> do, are, are you going to be, I mean, do you see an end in sight or no? I hope so because I mean it's kind of a frustrating feeling for me not having everything you know so um I would hope eventually that I would have that feeling oh my collection is complete it's uh, never gonna be complete no never that's, that's exactly <laughs> that's just the fact you're just gonna have to accept that yeah because at one point um myself I said um I'm gonna slow down a little bit yeah. You know, and I, I think that lasted about two weeks, <laughs> you know, and exactly. I just, I couldn't do it, yeah. you know, no, he couldn't, but, uh, it's yeah, everything looks fantastic. Definitely. You know, I mean, are, are there things out there that you just won't get? Um, I would say things that are off limits for me are the incredibly expensive things. Like, uh, for example, like wardrobe and, yeah. um, I'll, you know, if this, I guess, you know, props that were actually used on set, uh, things that go for thousands of dollars. I mean, that's just something that I admire other people having. I don't try to get those things, but yeah. that's, that's, cr that's crazy that people I know, that, I don't know who that would pay do that price. Like that. that is kind of crazy. <laughs> you know <laughs> i would if i had a if i had the money if i was like a multi-millionaire i would be all about it but <laughs> yeah, that's what we said too and mm -hmm. we're not multi-millionaires yeah yeah it, yeah you, you, yeah you'll be in the hole for a long time <laughs> yeah you know all right here's a question for you here's a question since you know you a diehard collector one thing that I'm on the hunt for, I've been on a hunt for, for years. I have not found it. The Brazilian mm -hmm. file cabinet box set. box set, and it's a shaped as a file cabinet. You open the drawers and it's got uh, videotapes in it and t-shirts in it. Looks exactly like a file cabinet. But a lot of people don't know, it's not metal, it's wood. Wow. You've never seen anything like that? I haven't. That sounds amazing, though. It, it, was, it came out in Brazil years ago, and I think it was limited to 500. And They're to, out there, though. to this day, I, I cannot find it. I'm surprised with 500 of them being out there. Yeah. I think eventually you would find it. Let me pull it up. You go ahead, Doug. It's, I mean, I like when he first showed that to me, yeah. I like tried to learn Spanish and like go on like, I was like going down a rabbit hole, <laughs> but <laughs> I couldn't find it. I mean, I was looking on like Brazilian websites and stuff. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. That one, if anyone finds that, just let me know. I'll pay. No kidding, because, you know, just thinking about the six scales, for example, the Skinner and the Crychek are limited to 500, and here they're both here, and you have them. So the things that are limited to 500 are definitely obtainable. I think it's because it was just in Brazil. Yeah. I don't know, like, yeah. Yeah. did they get out of Brazil? Or <laughs> you can't are there 500 that? still in Brazil? <laughs> Yeah, I have to try to. I'm gonna have to take a trip. Try to dig the picture up and find it. Yeah, but that that's one thing I've been on a hunt for. Oh my God, for I would have to say ten years, and oh. I cannot and I cannot find it. You know. Yeah. So if you ever come across it, I will. I will let you know. You know, because I'm sure it's gonna be crazy. Oh yeah. It's you know. It, but hey. But at uh, this point, I don't even. Just whatever. Right. Yeah. Even if it's 
uh, even if it's not pricey and I find a good deal, I would still make sure you got it just knowing how hard you've searched for it. Yeah, well, thank that's, you. That's awesome. And you, hey. you, because of Chris Carter, I never knew this piece of merchandise was out ever. Uh -huh. um, the the container of all those little tiny, tiny balls and stuff. Oh, yeah. What was that? The pachinko machine. So they made a pachinko machine and it has the tiny little balls. It's like, you know, that game. I'm Are you familiar with a pachinko? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I guess in, in Asia, there was an x file pachinko machine, which I had no clue of that. So we've got the balls from the pachinko machine. But we didn't have the oh, machine. that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. You know. Yeah. We're, you know, we're going to find that eventually. Yeah. I've joined the pachinko sites now. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at, but when I see an X, I'll, I'll be there. Exactly. <laughs> so, I, you know, um, your collection, where do you do most of, you know, your hunting, you know? Definitely um, used merchandise websites and apps is where I go because I don't know where else to go. I used to be a big fan of the Fox Shop website, but... Apparently, they're not in existence anymore as of about a year. Yeah, well, probably when Disney took over. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that was uh, a go Disney shop. Yeah, well, that's going to be very limited. <laughs> How do you feel about the X Files being bought by Disney? I don't know. It's it's uh, doesn't feel right. Right. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the only good thing is Disney's got the money, so. They can yeah. do something with it, you know. Maybe That's it'll true. they'll do something. Right. Were you was were you a fan of the? I don't like to call it season ten and eleven because they were so short. But were you a fan of them? I was. I think that season ten, um, I enjoyed it, but I think that they it seemed like they were still trying to get back into the groove. Season eleven, they just really came back and hit it home, in my opinion. But I loved both of them. Oh, that's great to hear. Yeah, we were fans of them, but yeah, so we were. So many other fans don't really like them. It's like, really? I mean, we I enjoy know. them. Well, it's because I, I think it's because people, you know, when season 10 came out, people automatically thought it was going to be, you know, like back to the 90s. Back to the 90s and it was going to be exactly like that. But people didn't realize that, you know, times change, people get older, you know, mm -hmm. and really i mean think about it six episodes i mean they had to he'd cram everything in six episodes so right. some of it felt rushed you yeah know? they didn't have time to like right. develop everything the way they wanted to which mm -hmm. was yeah i enjoyed seeing you know recent day and age things in season 10 and 11 because <laughs> i've always watched this from the 90s and yeah. so you know, they had these big brick phones. And it was so funny, for example, on Mulder and Scully Meet the Wear Monster, where Mulder has a smartphone and he's trying to learn how to take pictures. Yeah. And I think this is this is fantastic. This is great. You know, it's this is like the new X Files, and I love it. <laughs> yeah. It was very good. Okay. Yeah. Um, out of let's all eleven seasons. Uh oh. <laughs> What's your, I'm going to do it different. Okay. What is your top three episodes? Um, X-Cops. I love X-Cops. Um, Clyde Bruckman. Uh, Clyde Bruckman's Final Repose. And probably the, the, my other favorite would be the, my struggle, the very last episode of season 11. I, I heard a lot of backlash about how it ended, and I thought it was great. I thought it was the perfect ending to the show. So I like that. That's really good well, to hear know. some, you know, compliments, stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. you so know. those are probably my three favorite episodes of the series. Yeah, she threw a corker in there with that, the last My Struggle. Yeah, you definitely. Know? And I'm so sad that we don't get, well, I'm still hoping. And we get more because that last episode left you thinking, where is he taking, you know, where are we going with this? There's, there had to be more, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll just keep my fingers crossed that Jillian decides she needs easy money, I guess. I exactly. But she's, she's having a baby. So, you know, even if she wanted to just stay home with the baby and keep the baby protected from the X-Files while Molder goes out, I mean, that would be fine too. She could go into hiding. <laughs> 
I mean, they carried on without David Duchovny in season eight. So I feel like they could do a season without Gillian Anderson. We would all love to see her, but I think it would be doable if she didn't want to come back. Right. They could just talk about her, you know. Yeah. yeah like she would be there, but not in We can't see her. That's all. So you're, you're, she's very open-minded and, yeah, and like that. down, you know. I really want to know. Like, I'm sure you saw our interview with Chris Carter and how he ended our interview. Why was Jackson smile? I'm like, yeah, why was he smiling? Where were you taking us? But we don't get to know. See, I, I kind of interpreted that, that he felt like he was free. That's an interpretation. Because he seemed like... He learned his identity. He learned the, about, you know, being a, adopted. He knew about that. And he, he found his birth mother, but he told, you know, uh, Scully, and he told her that he just wanted to be let go. And then on the boardwalk there, she did verbalize that to Mulder and express that he wanted to be let go. And so then when Mulder saw him shot, and fell in the water. I don't know if they realized that he survived. I mean, probably because he got shot earlier and right. lived. But it almost seemed to me like he was smiling because he felt like, like this is a new chapter for me. I, you know, smoking man, right? My yep. creepy dad is dead, <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, I don't know. That that's kind of how I interpreted it. That's definitely an interesting way. It's to interesting. Think. You know? Although Scully would know he was still alive, right? Because they have that weird connection. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I wonder, do they still have that? Or did that nexus get turned off? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? And I don't, you know, maybe maybe someday we'd find out. But, you know, who knows? We can just imagine. Right. Make up our own stories. Yeah. Are you, are you um, a mythology fan or a Monster of the Week fan? Tough question. Yeah. That, that's a tough one. I'm probably going to say mythology. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Good I know thing. that's uh, not usually the, that's not the popular opinion from what I've heard, but. Well, that's what keeps this show going, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It does. It does. And it's very interesting. It's very complex. And um, it's actually the mythology. Uh, <laughs> Every time, I mean, I've watched the series over and over and over, and I feel like the mythology is so complex that every time I watch it, I make a connection that I didn't make the time before, or I learn something that I didn't, you know, you know it's like there's yeah. always something to learn, even when you've already watched it. I agree with you. Right. You know? And you're always catching some little thing you missed the first time. Right. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Here's a question. Here, here's, here's a question. <sighs> Are you a shipper or a non-shipper? I would say probably a non-shipper. I like that they have a relationship, but um, I I appreciate that it's implied. Right. Exactly. I don't need to see it to know it exists. Right. <laughs> when they're when they're when they're hunting bad things or looking for conspiracies, we don't need to know about what else is going on. You know, let's just focus. Yeah. <laughs> Just do our, I want to keep the stories going, you they know. Have a, they have a, a genuine deep connection that goes beyond the physical. And so I think that it really adds to it not being so enveloped in that, in the show. Right. right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. When I first started watching it, I mean, when it originally aired, you know, um, the first season basically was nothing but, you know, Monster Start of the Week the and stuff, yeah, you know. With those and yeah, I'm not sitting there in front of the TV. It's season one and two saying, you know, wow, I, I hope they're getting romantically involved. No, I was not. <laughs> that's not what caught your attention. No, that's not what caught my attention. <laughs> you know, I think I it, it, when Fight the Future uh, came out in the theater, I think I was the only one screaming at the screen when they started to kiss. I was like, no. You wanted to stop it. <laughs> you know, and then when, when she got stung by the bee, like, yeah, I, was, bee! I was clapping for the bee. <laughs> you know, and yeah, it, I wasn't a popular guy in that theater. <laughs> oh, well. Well, you know, hey, you, you know. You, you, you stayed for enough showings. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, well, I don't go that far. I would say um, I, I don't mind seeing a little bit of, of the chemistry there like that. A little bit of the physical connection every once in a while is, is fine. You said something earlier. You, go, you said something earlier. You go back and you'll watch episodes and you'll kind of like learn something new or you'll see something and everything. I did that, you know, with like season one. And I'm pretty sure you've probably heard on the internet and stuff how Mulder was always a jerk to Scully. I'm, you yeah. probably heard that, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Watch season one and listen to Scully, how she is with Mulder. She is a total Me. jerk to him. <laughs> you know? She's and it's an like, <laughs> She has a serious attitude. Yeah. You know? And I was like, wait a minute. It goes both ways. Yeah. At different points in time. Yeah, you know. It goes both ways. Eh, it's just something I know. That's noticed. human nature. But you people, know. You know, certain people just pick up on what, you know, depending on where they're coming from, mm -hmm. they're picking up on this or they're picking up on that. I think that they still had a good relationship despite that, though, because I love bloopers. I don't know if you watch bloopers, but yep. the bloopers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are genuine belly laughs between those two. Like they are getting along, even yeah. though there might be some like, tension there, learning how to work together for the first time. I mean, they definitely still seem to appreciate each other as oh, well. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think in the early seasons, she was supposed to be like that. She was, you know, brought in to disprove what he was doing, pretty much. Yeah. You know? And she's also a woman entering a man's field, you know, like she has said in the series. So she probably felt, you know, I got to be tough. I, I got to put on this face and be strong, too. So that might have translated as a little bit rude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's got its ups. It's got its downs, you know. And in my opinion, you watch the show to this day and hard to believe it was filmed like 20 some odd years ago. Right. You don't feel and like you're watching. No, it TV don't. Show. It still holds up really well. It does. You know. Now, does your husband watch it with you? He does. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. So he, he has seen it. Um, not it not as many times as I have, but he has seen it multiple times. He has watched it enough that I can just in day to day life throw out an X Files quote if it's fitting to life and in that circumstance. And he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Well, that's good. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah. Actually. You know, when season to when season ten, you found out that was going to be released. You know, it was going to come back on TV. You know, how excited were you? I was. I. I just thought I don't believe it. I, I'm not going to believe it until I see it. It's too good to be true. And then it came on and I was just squealing. Um, I don't have internet. I don't have TV here in my house. So I actually had to go to my mother-in-law's house to watch it. <laughs> and when, the, um, when CGB gave his name he said my name is Carl Gerhard Bush. I screamed so loud. <laughs> What? <laughs> At least her mother-in-law got six visits on regular planned days. Yeah. I'm sure she heard me from across the house <laughs> when that scene happened. That's great. That that's really good. We just put our kids and everybody on notice. And this day, at this time, oh yeah, don't bother us. The oh yeah, going off. Don't try to call. Yeah, exactly. Keep your staring. We don't exist for an wanna, hour. I do not want to hear nothing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. it was good, you know. And it was nice to be watching new episodes. Like, yeah, together at home on TV because he had, you know, I came in late when I met him. He instantly introduced me to the XL. So to sit down and see an episode for the first time together was pretty cool too for us. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that is something exactly that I say to people when they haven't watched the X Files yet, or they're still working on season ten or season eleven. I tell them. I am jealous of you that you uh, still yeah. get to have that experience of watching an episode for the first time because I don't get to have that again. Yeah. yeah, you don't get to have that again. You know, I, I mean, like I said, it dates my age, but when it was on, when it was on, you know, regular prime time, you know, yeah. back in the day, and you had twenty-four episodes. You had to wait a week. And then you had to wait a week. And then you had the, the summer break the cliffhangers that were just nail biters. And you had to yeah. wait all summer. That was some painful stuff. 
I could not have done it. <laughs> it was painful, big time. Because yeah. you just didn't know, yeah. you know? And I mean, that's probably the only time that I really enjoyed, you know, fall, hurry up and get here. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, summer's away. You know? I yeah. mean, young people, do, do you know a lot of young people that are getting into the show? Because we've noticed a lot of younger, younger people that are starting to get into it. And it's, we're impressed by that. That's amazing. No, um, I haven't. Some people, some people my age, generally the people that I talk to that are fellow X-Files are around my dad's age. Wow. I mean, at, when we went to, what was it? X, convention. X-Fest. Yeah. And that, how old was that little girl? There was one little girl. She was like, I don't know. I can't remember now. Was she like 10 or 12? I think she was. She yeah. was 10 or 12. She was like knowing more than me. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was, it was absolutely great. impressive. Which you know? was, you know, I was glad to see it because, like I said, we got to keep the young ones in to keep the fandom mm -hmm. alive. For yeah. sure. Keep it growing. You know? That's yeah. silver. That's silver <laughs> thing. Is that a suitcase? Yeah. That's it's, a, it's a briefcase. Yep. yep. I was, because I saw that. Yep. We have that. Too. Yep. It's, uh, yeah, I got the little yep. uh, X Files emblem thing on it that's limited to 100 no really <laughs> yep <I was> wondering <laughs> about that. that's amazing <laughs> that's limited to 100 yeah what is the do you know like what the background is on that i mean was it like a crew gift or it was, it, it, it was a crew gift but it is one of those unfinished crew gifts because, excuse me, if you notice, there's no, you know how crew gifts have thank you and who it's from and yeah. all that stuff, you know, that's kind of, it, it's just a raw crew gift. It didn't have it didn't get any engravings or anything, but it is limited to about a hundred. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe you could tell me then, what about this? I got this. <laughs> what is that? Um, Open it up. It's like, it says 2015, but like, I was wondering, was this something like, was that a crew gift? Or no, what is no. That? that was, that was sold on the Fox shop. Really? That was sold on the Fox oh, shop. And I missed it. Okay. Yeah. I saw, I just hadn't seen it before. And I was wondering what, you know, I have to have it, but what is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but that was, yeah, you know, it was sold on the Fox yeah. shop, you know. Oh, okay. And, and, and we have them too ourselves. You see that? We have them yep, there. right there. Right there. Yeah. It were the statues where it says, what are they saying on there? It says uh, the TV series, the yellow boxes back there. Oh, yes. I just got Mulder. Yeah. I know so the backstory on those. What is it? The backstory on those was that you notice it doesn't, I don't believe it says, doesn't say X Files. No, it doesn't. Just and David and Jillian. David and Jillian. It's because the company could not put the word X Files. They could not use Scully or Mulder. They had no copyright at all. They had no so, permission. So they had to use like their real names and stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, they're, they are foreign. You know, yeah. but yeah, they're pre they're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, they are. That that makes sense though, because you're right. They don't say X, but just by their attire, so yeah. like you know that that's X Files. It doesn't even have to say it. <laughs> yeah. So wh when they sold them, people are like, "We're gonna the people are gonna know what they are." Right. So it didn't oh, matter. Sure. You know, yeah. but yeah, they were not licensed or anything. That's you know, but I think they're cool stuff like that. Yeah. It's you know. Yeah. Me too. But uh, yeah, I was just looking around, seeing some of her stuff, and I saw you started getting, you got some more of the wa canister watches. Yeah, I have some of those watches. I have, um, I'm missing a couple, but um, I don't know if I could show you all my watches. The, the middle, the one with the middle one with the black lid. Uh, this one? Around can. No, nope. standing this up one? in the back. Standing oh, up in the oh, back. This one. Nope, way in the back. Uh, this one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. that, that one right there, that is the rarest out of all of them. Oh, really? Yep, that's the rarest out of all of them, the black lid one, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I've seen I've seen that go for for sale for probably about six hundred. Yeah, um, I that's awesome. I got it for I think I got it for two, about two fifty. Yeah, you got a great buy. Yeah, I, yeah, I did exactly. I saw it um, one time for like you said five or six hundred dollars, and I thought that's yeah. that's outside my range. But um, yeah, it came up for like two fifty, so I I got that. <laughs> Like I can't pass up. I never wear it, but it's just it's exactly. a good display. Who would who would take that by wearing it? You got to. <laughs> That's who, a question we have. Okay, who would take that and wear that? Do you know how many people we've talked to hearts. that get um, wardrobe from the show and they wear it out? No, why? Yeah, they do. They wear it out. I um, think they do it to break our hearts. <laughs> I don't know. You know, oh once they would spend a ton of money. Yeah. You know, and it's like, why would you do that? And sometimes even worse than that, they buy wardrobe, then they cut Genius. it up and sell pieces. You oh, I, I do have the cards. The you have the cards. Yes. cards. Those are awesome. But for someone just like a lay person to just take something and cut it up. I yeah, they do that. that you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're in some of the movie prop pages, you know, pages and you see stuff, you know, I mean. Yeah. You see people sell stuff for a crazy amount of money. Like I saw what was it? Chuba a strand of Chewbacca's oh, hair. I hate that. From Star Wars. Yeah, um, like this little two inch piece of Chewbacca fur. Like, for like eight hundred dollars. It's like, are you crazy? But yeah, that I've can seen, be from any stuffed animal yeah. on earth. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> what? Yeah, I saw somebody that um bought uh I think it was Scully was one of her, season 10, I believe. It was one of her handbags. And they used and it. And they used it. They were bringing it on yeah. trips and all that. Mm. And, oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That and was I painful. Could, yeah. I could see getting like a duplicate of yeah. it and, and having that and saying this is like a replica of it. But if you have the original, why would you do that? I, it, you know? it, it puzzles us. <laughs> Some people um, do not value them the same way we do. You know, they're like uh, designer bag, and I'm just like Scully. <laughs> no, yeah. I bet yeah. you want to ask them. Can I just rescue these things from you, yeah. please? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I have. It's great. <laughs> I have. You know, but uh, hey, you know, you you your collection's fantastic. You know. Oh, thanks. You know, when I first when I first stumbled on her Instagram and everything, and I, I stumbled on it, and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I had put the brakes on. Yeah, you know, and I was like, first thing I was like was, wow, do I have competition? <laughs> That's you know? so you're like you're like a celebrity in the X Files world. You know? yeah. but I, you know, I saw yours and I, I was impressed. You know, oh, thank I, you. you know, and I love how it's all displayed and stuff. You know, but you, you got to get a bigger house or something because it, it's going to get bigger. Yeah, exactly. No, I, we just have a townhouse right now, a rental. So someday when I actually buy a house after I'm finished with school and go back to work, yeah, I'm going to have an entire gigantic X-Files room, shelves, lighting, everything. <laughs> One thing I'm not seeing, do you plan on getting the x file pinball? Oh, I, yeah, I saved up for that probably about two years ago, you know, because they're expensive. One of those things I mentioned and uh, someone bought it. I was waiting on my tax returns. Oh, bummer. Well, you, you, you got to get it, you know, and you get it because you get to play it. And, you know, I mean, it's 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 a lot of fun. Yeah. You know. Someday. I'll buy it someday. That's definitely on my to buy list, but yeah. probably not. You let the husband know. So yeah. if, whenever he wants to get you a gift, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, he actually gave me the go ahead to get that, but. You know, like I said, someone else bought it before. He yeah. said, where are you going to put it? Where are you going to keep it? I said, I'll find room. <laughs> if you ever do decide to get it, um, we recommend you do the LED upgrade kit on all the lights. Oh, okay. You know, because trust me, it yeah. makes a big difference. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> well, we thank you for your time, you know. Absolutely. And it was uh, totally our pleasure. Oh, me too. Thank you. All right. All right. Have a great day. Thank you.